nipper. I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. Nay, don't! Oh my god, man, I don't. Oh, oh. oh. When I wake, wake up, up. What, is what is it? Are you okay? When'd you get home? About an hour ago. You were sleeping so sound, I couldn't wake you up. And y'all perspiring. You must have been dreaming. Yeah. Maybe I was. Maybe I was dreaming. Come on. Get up. Let's have some supper. I brought you some pork ribs from the smokers and fried you up some catfish. Come on. I love you, Collier. <sighs> That's the booze talking, Mary Elizabeth. No, I really, really do. Kiss me. Oh, gee, Mary Elizabeth, no, not now. Here, have some gum. Why do you love me so much? I'm just like a boy, and half the time I tell you to leave me alone. Well, I guess that's when I know that you really love me. How? Because you're a faker. A faker, faker, faker. I am not. Catch me if you can. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Mary Elizabeth. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, that was my fault. Oh, jeez, I shouldn't have run. Yeah, it was my lip cut. <gasps> it's actually your tooth. I fainted dead to the floor when I heard what done it done. And I know we wouldn't be here today if he hadn't done it. But it's not fair. All anybody talks about is all the bad things. Donnie was a good boy when he was little. When did he change? <sighs> Four years ago. What happened? His um, daddy was on his way down to the 7-Eleven to give me some smokes. Somebody shot him dead in the yard. Donnie watched him pass on right in my arms. He was 10. It was a drive-by. We never knew who did it. So is it safe to say that Donnie's behavior changed significantly after the violent death of his father? Absolutely. One day, he was the president of his third grade class. The next, he was brought home for shoplifting. A few weeks later, a neighbor caught him kicking her cat. And there was no evidence of such behavior until after the death of his father. Yes, that's correct. No further questions. Counsel? Do you have any other children? Three. Winston, Chris, and Rhonda. After their father died, did any of them start torturing the neighbor's pets? Objection. There is no relevance here. You are in my courtroom, Mr. Doyle. Raise your standards. Your Honor, I'm merely trying to establish that the death of Donnie Harmon's father isn't what turned him into a murderer. Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. Are you ashamed of what Donnie's done? Yes, I am. And don't let him fool you. He knew what he was doing. Your Honor, please just answer the questions. How are you holding up during all of this? Not good. Sometimes I wish all this just go away. Really? Then why have you accepted an offer from a major television network for Donnie's story? I haven't. But you have been approached. Yes, I... Uh... Well, what are you waiting for? Holding out for a better offer? Objection! I have nothing more. If I put you on the stand to testify, do you promise you won't go to the bathroom? No, and I'm not going to testify. You don't have a choice. The DA did a number on your mom. And you just sat there in that white woman's suit and let him? Why don't you admit you're the one who screwed up here? Listen to me. I said listen to me. You're a frightened little boy who also happens to be a cold-blooded killer. I'm an attorney who happens to be the only thing that you've got going for you right now. Why? Because I am insane enough to believe that you can change. Now, unless you want to wear that orange jumpsuit for the next 75 years, you will get up on that stand and you will do as I tell you. Understand? Do you understand? <gasps> Get in here. Up. We got a back here. 
Although Donnie Harmon is 14 years old, and this hearing is about whether to transfer him from family to criminal court, age has nothing to do with it. Our task has been to prove that Donnie had the capacity to form the intent to shoot and kill Mr. Henderson. Dr. Michelson proved it. Donnie admits it. His mother doesn't even dispute it. All the evidence presented demonstrates that Donnie knowingly took out a gun, aimed it, and pulled the trigger. He did exactly what he intended to do. He watched Kevin Henderson fall to the ground, and he stood there and smiled. Your Honor, as you know, one of the main purposes of the Juvenile Justice Act is to secure for a child the necessary treatment, care, guidance, and discipline so that he or she can become a productive member of society. Donnie Harmon is a 14-year-old child. If he were an adult, I would want to see him prosecuted as an adult, but he is not. Your Honor, look at him. His life is on the line, and he's making paper airplanes. That is not an adult. <clears throat> Donnie did this to me when I told him that I was going to put him on the stand. He used my fountain pen. And for some odd reason, I care more about him now than ever before. Your Honor, this child needs help. The good little boy that his mother talked about is still inside of him, alive, but not well. Please don't extinguish what little light is left. Let him be rescued. 